Today we're going to be making a vegetable broth. And this broth is going to be part of a hearty turmeric stew that I'll be making later on in the day. So what we have here are the basic ingredients for this vegetable broth. And really, at its base, a vegetable broth just needs to be garlic, onions, carrots, and celery. But I like to add other things into my vegetable broth just to amp up the nutritional value of it. So today, what I'm adding to my broth are a few extra things like mushrooms. So I have some organic cremini mushrooms and a chunk of chaga mushroom. Mushrooms are great antioxidants and great anti-inflammatories. Our bodies live in a state of chronic inflammation because of the type of processed foods, fast foods, high fat foods that we eat. So we really need to add to our diets foods that are going to bring inflammation down. And mushrooms are a really great source for that. Now the chaga mushroom, you might be wondering about this because it's quite the solid chunk. What I'm going to do with this is just put it into the liquid with the other vegetables and allow it to simmer away. And when we go to strain all of these vegetables out, the chaga chunk will still be intact. I'll take it out, put it back in the bowl, and let it dry out to be used another time because it can be reused several times. So other things that I'm going to put into my vegetable broth include parsley, which is an excellent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. It's also very high in nutrients. So we want to build as much nutritional value in our broth as we're able to. The other thing that I'm adding outside of the basics is a little bit of seaweed. Now seaweed is high in iodine, which is really great for our thyroids. And it's also very high in vitamin A and is a great source of fiber. So we will just add this into the liquid and allow it to simmer away, much like the chaga. And when we're done with it, we'll strain it out when we strain out the other vegetables. Once all of the vegetables are prepared, I'm going to simmer the onions and garlic in avocado oil and then add the celery and the carrots and then eventually add the other vegetables. Just in a regular pot, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but we need to make sure that we have enough space because we're going to add water to cover all of those vegetables and that will allow them to steep away for several hours today. Other types of broths that you can make include bone broth that could be organic chicken, turkey, or beef bones fish broth, or a mushroom broth with a variety of mushrooms in it. You get to choose what you like and add it into your recipes. So basically, we're just going to take everything, cut it up into large chunks, put it into the pot, and let it simmer away. Uses for vegetable broth include, as I've mentioned, soups and stews, risottos, any recipe that requires a liquid base that maybe you want to have a little bit more flavor. I like to use it also when I'm making a rice, just it adds a little bit more than just the water. Another way that we can bring vegetable broth or bone broth into our diet is if we are sick. Because when we get sick, we go into inflammation. Our body naturally um, produces inflammation to protect our cells and to protect a wound. And that's a good thing. We like to have that kind of inflammation because our body really wants to heal itself. But we also can use it to help reduce that inflammation and to support that cellular health as we're healing. Post-surgery is a great time to use broth in your diet because it's a nice liquid, it's easy to get down, it's easy to stay down, and it's also very nutrient dense. So that's something to consider. If you have a virus or a cold or you're just feeling under the weather, using a broth to sip on over the course of the day is also a great idea because of that anti-inflammatory property, the antioxidant properties, and the cellular healing that can happen from all of the nutrients. So those are just some ways that you can use broth in your diet. And again, it's just a really easy thing to make and you can put it into mason jars when you're done, store it in your fridge, and if you have lots of extra, you can store it in your freezer and just thaw it as you need it. So let's get to making this broth. So I've gone ahead and chopped up all of the vegetables, and as I mentioned, there's no need to have them in really small chunks. They're actually quite in large chunks because we're just going to strain all of them out anyway. 
So behind me, my avocado oil is preheating and I have all of my onions and garlic ready to go. So I'm just going to add them to the pot and give them a stir and then start adding in these pieces. And lots of celery and carrots because they make the foundation of a broth. broth started everything's been added to the pot everything's covered with water and we're just going to let it simmer away for the rest of the day three to four hours isn't a bad idea we want to maximize that nutrient absorption into the liquid and then when we're done we'll strain everything out parcel it up in some mason jars and it'll be ready to go for whatever recipe we want to use it in <laughs> 